Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Coaster. This is episode three. And today, oh, what do we have in plan today? I'm not entirely sure. We'll just wing it again and uh, actually, I'm, I'm, once, I'm once again lying. I'm sorry guys. This is not actually being recorded at the same time as the video you see happening in front of you. This is actually being recorded much later. In fact, today, I uh, finally downloaded the video off of my MacBook onto a, a portable hard drive for episode 2 of this series. So, hey, I'm producing them really fast. Interesting note is we're <laughs> a long way to go, guys. A long way to go. As you can see, I am still working out this park. It's uh, got my two rides, my log flume, and the roller coaster. And we still have so much more to do. We have a town to build here, as I finally decided. We have our kind of industrial section to build in the other part. We have our log mill to build. And we still have the main front part of the park to be done and we need to theme all our rides a little bit more so i'm going to go ahead and actually speed up the video here we're going to build a few of the hills going to try and get some theming done and well let's see where we end up i'm going to still be here talking to you but we're just going to speed the video up a bit all right let's get going and we're off to the races the time lapse has started and we start building up those mountains Really, I had to build up a lot of hills. It just did not look right having that flat of a park after having some of those really big spots. And I also decided in this part of the video to actually go back and kind of finish off the little stream. Um, unlike the last video, this actually isn't going to be one or two like very long let uh, videos combined down in the one. In fact, this is many actually small ones. Um, two of the main episode portions of this is actually from... Uh, days where I recorded like an hour that day. Which isn't a lot when it comes to like the time lapse terms, but hey. Also, you may hear a little squeaking in the background. That's my chair. I don't know why it does that so bad now. <laughs> it's an old chair. Sorry, guys. Oh my. I don't know why, but sometimes in my mind, when I start to plant trees for, like, a layout or something for, like, a, a train simulator like I used to do, I would, like, just plop down wherever. It's kind of like how I do at work, how I get certain things the way I want them. I just do it at random without thinking much about it, and it kind of ends up looking nice at the end. It looks natural. It doesn't look like you forced it to be placed that way. And I kind of like that. I kind of like the look of it being natural. I only, in fact, used pine trees and evergreens in this area, so that is kind of an issue. I kind of do want to go back and I want to test out trying some uh, other more deciduous trees in the area, but at the same time, I've been so focused on putting down those lovely, lovely pine trees, I kind of didn't think about it at the time. Oh yeah, my station. That roller coaster is really good. I really like that roller coaster. It came out really nice. And that was a nice little glance back at uh, a few of the things that we had done in previous videos and done in this video and kind of gave you a nice little look at him. A nice little quiet bit too in the video. Kind of gives you a nice feel of what the park is like itself. Right now I'm actually kind of upset with the video that I'm showing up right now. The time lapse that you're seeing is actually from a video that did not record well. I had a lot of recording issues with this one. Um, 
Simply put, I was in this episode attempting to go back to the mine, put down the uh, abandoned railroad, and kind of give it more of a feel of this is abandoned, this is gone, this is no longer what we use, and kind of also um, just get an idea in the sense of how I want this area to come out. I, I am kind of sad because at the end of the day, uh, this video does not come out as well. You may notice it's a bit juddery. That's because, in actuality, the recording was extremely juddery. Uh, I am very disappointed in this one. Uh, we might actually cut this one off early. Eh, not too much. There's enough here that I have to go over to explain. So, for the building of the mine, I actually tried to finish off that back and try to finish off a roof. And also kind of made a nice little porch here for the roller coaster to go through. It's kind of a nice little area for the roller coaster to just go under and kind of gets it inside the building without. And kind of ties it better with the uh, mine structure here. I'm still kind of iffy, but I'm also thinking out of adding in a second or third roller coaster uh, to this area. Uh, second, I think is the word I'm looking for. Wow. I'm tired. <laughs> Uh, adding a second coaster to this area and kind of giving it a uh, like a minecart vibe. So, I don't know. We'll see. I kind of am having a lot of uh, fun building this park and kind of having fun just designing and figuring out the theming and everything. Uh, one of the best parts about this area... By the way, I'm saying a lot. I, my younger self would hate me right now. My younger self does hate me right now. That's probably why I'm mentioning it in this video. So... Oh, that was so hard. The park is really kind of coming together kind of nicely. It's coming together in a way that it looks good. The trees kind of give it a nice little alpine uh, mountainous theme. It kind of is all just slowly connecting and uh, making everything work together. Um, there are certain parts of this video I have. Uh, this this video in that I mean here like uh, the file is called PC seven so this was the seventh video I recorded uh, from when I first recorded so this is quite a ways in uh, I th I think that was just a bad day what was I doing here oh I was lighting up the caverns a bit for the water ride okay. That's right, I, did, I went through and I kind of lit up the caverns for the log flume ride so I could get a better idea of what's in there and what I have to work with. Kind of sad this didn't come out because it was kind of fun little area to dig out and kind of figure out how I'm going to make these caverns look, what's going to be there, uh, if there's going to be like a lake in there or not. I don't remember what I finally decided on. I do know that it's not finished. A lot of my rides are not finished, but hey, at least I was trying. Ah, oh, so frustrating having bad footage. I hope the next one's better. I don't remember. The issue is I'm recording these so far after I record the initial episodes, uh, when I record the footage, that I don't remember what it's like. And that's kind of an issue at times, kind of nice in other times, because it kind of gives me a nice way to look back at the park refresh my memory of what it used to be like compared to what it is now and kind of help me get refreshed in my imagination and keep wanting to move forward. What you're seeing right now is actually uh, I created a... What, what's... The, oh, uh, they're the they're the Fast Pass. I mentioned them last episode. They're kind of like a Fast Pass and I tried to put one on the log flume. They finally kind of work. Uh, it took a... Up, 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 up. If I, there is a counter for the us here, I am quite sorry about that. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but... Mm, mm, sorry, guys. I'm learning. I'm trying to get better. I, I, I know that not everyone does this, but, you know, people have their own speech things. They have their own things they end up falling back on. I'm very sorry. So, I was talking about the fast pass. I've been applying on the rides. I finally think I got them working. It did require a little bit of uh, finagling of a few things. So, you know, it's kind of nice to have them. They definitely help keep the people moving. So, also you may notice at the bottom of the screen there, yeah, there's about 400 people, I think, in the park. It's not much, but it's nice. It's a, it's a good little decent amount. Uh, it kind of keeps the park going well. It kind of keeps it... 
focused a little bit. Everyone's kind of focused on the main attraction they're there for. There's not kind of a split. So, I'm trying to figure out ways to keep everyone in different spots. Kind of help everyone be all over the park instead of just one area. What was I even doing here? Like, I'm looking at this footage and I'm just like, what is happening? It's so, like, spotty in what it's recorded that I can't actually sit down and go, oh, this is exactly what I was doing here. This is exactly what we were working on. Nope, it's just, like, slideshow frame, slideshow frame, slideshow frame. Oh, oh, I think I know what was going on. I was working on building the little link for the log flume. You'll see it in other parts here. You, I'll probably speed by it, but there's a little lake there next to it, and I've also put some links in, uh, <laughs> legs, logs in it. That's an entirely different thing. I put some logs in it to make it look like an actual old lumber mill. If you ever have time, just go on Google and look up log mill or log pond or log mill pond. There are some really cool old black and white photos and a few color of an old timey like log mill and log flume and there's some pretty cool things out there. It's nice history is kind of a fun thing at times. I'm sorry some people don't believe it, but I, I am one of the people that actually does believe it. Alright, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a break and then we're gonna start on the next day. Oh my. Alright, and here I am at 38, and I'm very sorry. It's looking a bit better. This is less slideshow than the last one, but if you actually watch it in real time, it's quite slideshowy. Uh, actually, interesting note, this video, to get it looking as smooth as it is right now, that's at 700% faster than its record rate. Uh, this video was actually recorded with me going back and editing a few things, working a bit on the pond, as you've seen there in the beginning, working on the train station a bit more. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my goodness. It's so bad. It makes me cringe so much. Don't worry, guys. All footage in the future is much better. The future footage is much better. I don't know what happened. There's just like a period in the middle there where the footage got really bad. And you know what? Thank goodness I learned how to fix that. I fixed it and it's no longer an issue and... Oh, I'm so excited. This was me kind of learning that sometimes those front areas would close down because they weren't getting enough customers or they weren't happy enough. So I had to fix that. And I decided to work in the weight pool, which is kind of sad because I was really excited for you all to see that footage. And now you won't. Well, not the same way I've seen it. So here I was working on the weight pool. I actually finally added some water fountains to it. Kind of gave that little area right there in the middle kind of some life. I haven't finished it yet which is still like many episodes in the future, but it's still, it's a nice little entry point. It's a nice little thing that the guests see when they first enter. There's this little pond in the front, fountains spurting out of it. It's kind of like if you've ever been to King's Island. King's Island, I think, has a little pond in the front. I think that's one of the places that has it. There's another park I'm trying to think of, but I can't remember the name of, that also has like a little pond in the front with a little town around it, and they have, like, watch fountains shooting out there. I think... See where Oderlander does! Don't quote me on that! It's been a while since I've been there. Uh, last time I remember there's a lighthouse out front with a little bit of pond, but I don't remember if there's water fountains in it. But I felt like this would be a good way to introduce my guests to the park. Have, like, the town on the left and the right side of the street with little stores and stuff. Maybe one ride, maybe two... Give the front of the park something to do. And then have most of the stuff be out throughout the rest of the park. But having this little fountain here with a little rocky landscape and the kind of thingies here. We kind of give it a bit of life and give it a little bit of motion for those who are just coming to the park for the first time. I thought that it would be a good way to introduce guests. And it kind of is reminiscent of one of my old videos. Uh, you'll find it on my other YouTube channel. 
I don't remember what it goes by. It used to be original Alpha the Wolf. I think if you look that up, the tags will help get you back to it. I did a theme park back in the days of when I was a teen. Uh, it was based off a kind of imaginary <laughs> theme park we built in a, a an MMO made by Disney. It was called uh, Virtual Magic Kingdom. And you could build rooms and you could place your items throughout the rooms. It was kind of like an MMO for Disney nerds. It was... It was Kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. And one of the things they kind of added was they added rides. Well, someone I had met somehow, I don't even remember how I met him, made a theme park called Green Adventureland inside the video game about a theme park. It was pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. It was very imaginative, very interesting. I wasn't always making sense, but it was kind of, it was, it was cool. I liked working there. It was kind of like a role-playing thing. And, uh, that kind of got my imagination going. And I kept going and going and going. And finally, one day I sat down in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, made by Frontier actually, and I built a theme park based on it. I actually got his permission at the time to do it. So if you ever look for Golden Adventureland or you've been my old YouTube name, Original Alpha the Wolf, you will find a lot of stuff there from Golden Adventureland, which is a Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 park that I lost in a lot of hard drive crashes back in the day. I used to have a lot more. I don't know. I. It's me knocking on wood. I'm really hoping this doesn't happen again. I don't want to lose any more hard drives. It's not a good thing. I don't like losing hard drives. It's ridiculous. I don't know why that keeps happening. Uh, the last one I kind of found out it was probably because of where I lived. They didn't have the windows sealed up properly. So there was a lot of humidity getting into the room. So it probably died because it was soaked to death. Oh, here's me putting in some lighting in the warehouse thing for the roller coaster. I still don't know what I'm going to call it. I look at that area and I always think of a warehouse instead of, like, workman's office or whatever have you. Eh, I can probably make it into a warehouse. We'll figure out something. But, yeah, no, Golden Adventureland, that was a really interesting park, and the reason I bring it up is because the entrance of it for the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 park, I had this kind of nice little town that I was building up along the edges there, and the bottom of the water, uh, the bottom, sorry, the end of the path would be this giant drop down, and you would be able to look down into this little kind of pit filled with water, and there'd be roller coasters running through there and stuff, and there'd be a giant waterfall that actually would go underneath the bridge that would go across there. It was a really cool idea. It was really nice. I was tempted to try and do something like that here, but at the same time, it was... Waterfalls are so much harder in Planet Coaster. They really are. You have to do a lot more fakery with them and a lot more estimating. Ah, here's where I put in the, roll, the ride uh, Gears of Fear. It's not a bad ride. It's pretty good. It's just not the best. It was a. It's a kind of like a weird rotating righty thing. I'm a jiggy. I throws people upside down. The hardest part of this entire area over here was actually getting the paths right, and getting them kind of in this kind of uh, back alleyway look and stuff. I didn't get in the way I wanted. Uh, you actually can't connect a square path up with a circular path that kind of bothers me because I kind of like the idea of having a square path in a corner next to an entrance and it won't allow it to happen it's just like it's just such a tiny thing it's so tiny I don't know why it bothers me it shouldn't but if anyone from Planet Coaster watches this the dev team is watching this and here's my cry Please, can you see about fixing that? I would love to be able to have square corners at the end of a path next to an entrance. I think that would be so cool. I think it would help me fill out buildings better. Alright. And guys, I think this is where we're going to end it for now. I'm actually going to jump into uh, the next day's video. And we'll start talking there. I think the next day's video is better. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, please, after the last two, let there be something better. Let there be something better.
Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Sweet video! It's finally a decent Ray Ray! Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're only like 22 minutes in, so... Buckle down, guys. We're in for a ride. Uh, actually, I'm letting it go at normal speed right now because... Uh, it's good footage. I mean, what, why wouldn't I? Let, let's be honest here. After the last two videos and how terrible they were and how kind of slideshow they were, yeah, yeah, no, I'm letting it have a nice little few moments of, like, nice, smooth frame rates. Yeah, look at that. Look at those frame rates, guys. Mmm, mm, so smooth. Mmm, yeah. I mean, you did get to see Gears of Fear just a few minutes ago, and here's the start of my park with the water fountain, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you could have to see me about it. Instead, you're actually going to see me light it. Which, by the way, is a very hard thing in this game. Oh my god, lighting. <sighs> it's so hard. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Lighting is actually kind of fun. It's very difficult, but it's kind of fun. So, I'm actually going to speed it up in a few seconds. And then we're going to see the game lighting, and then we're going to move into other bits and pieces of what I need to get done. We'll get up there someday. We'll catch up. Actually, interesting note, this is video 9, and this is the last, the last video I have from the original initial recording session when I recorded episode 1. Yeah, this is all the footage I recorded for episode 1 and then realized I had too much footage for so, to think about that for a second. Yeah, that's a lot of footage. Actually, put this in perspective. Each video, even the ones that are bad quality, is at least a gig. Or maybe over. Video files that are rendered like this end up being around 4 gigs. Guys, that's a lot of gigs. <laughs> that's a lot of gigs. If I was told when I was younger that I would be recording videos that were over 4 gigs and over 10 minutes long... I would think you were crazy because YouTube didn't allow that back in the day. You remember that? Remember that? No? No? You you, you weren't alive then? Oh, you young, sweet, innocent things. Oh, the things that you will never remember. When the Game Boy was a console. No, honestly. For those of you out there who are going, what? Yeah, no. There are people born that do not know that. There are also people who don't know what a Game Boy is. <laughs> you can... You can go into the world and don't be afraid to yell out, I love the Game Boy. And you make it a few weird looks, so don't worry, we will keep this a secret. Anyway, back to the video, I need to speed it up. You guys are distracting me, this is bad. Alright, here we go. And we're off to the races once more. Look at that time lapse go. Look at that water. <laughs> So you may notice there's actually a green building over here uh, in front of me. Uh, it's next to the train station. That wasn't there last time. No, don't worry. You're not seeing things. You're not crazy. No, that wasn't there. Um, that actually happened in the middle of an episode that is no longer here. Uh, it's an episode that's disappeared into the mist of the ether. It's actually worse than the last two you've seen. Yeah, there were things worse than the last two ones I kept in this video. Consider that for a few seconds. But essentially, I went ahead and made a Street Fox coffee shop, and I put it right there on my main street, so there's actually a place where you can get drinks. Uh, it was also my attempt at trying to build up a building of this theme style. And... Oh, kind of like it, kind of don't. So there's this weird thing when you build roofs in the game, where they kind of will show through... the walls? I don't like that. I kind of wish they wouldn't. I wish there was a way to, like, build it so those were a little bit further in. Um, instead, I have to now de... I have to take them out and place them in manually, which makes it look so much nicer, but at the same time, is so much extra work for something that should just not happen already. It should just not happen to begin with. Ah! This was me replacing two of those information stalls with, uh... Uh, memento shops, like a kind of like a gift shop. The idea was that I wanted people to be able to buy stuff, and I thought that having too many information desks at the front were taking guests from each other, so that it was going to cause an issue with staying open. 
I found out since that's not the case. Uh, even two compete a little bit too much. So I still am not sure if I'm ever going to change that or if I'm going to rework it. I thought about maybe putting a food shop there, another souvenir shop of some sort, maybe a balloon stand. But I'm just, I'm not sure. I need to think about it a little bit more. I think it looks cool. But at the same time, I think it looks weird. It's not what I originally envisioned, and that's kind of an issue. Oh, wow, yeah. It, just look at this lighting. Look at the lighting. Look at it! This is a roller coaster simulator, and the lighting is so gorgeous. <laughs> there we are, daylight again. So, yeah, there's Gears of Fear. It does that weird rotating thing on a jiggy. Also, I kind of realized one thing you may not know about transportation rights in this game. Um, transportation rights require a mechanic for each station. <laughs> yeah, if a station breaks down, it doesn't break down the entire ride, it just breaks down that station. So if you have multiple stations, it won't break down the entire ride, it will just break down that station. And that can be a bit frustrating, I'm not going to lie. The only frustrating thing is that some stations are big enough to where you could have people getting off the ride while people are getting on the next the car ahead of them. And I kind of wish they would allow that ability, but at the same time, you know, they have to start somewhere. This is me playing with other lighting methods, trying the more modern things to see if it would look better on the road out there. And I'm not going to lie, it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't like it. It really didn't look right. It kind of looked like a UFO. It just looks weird. And now we're getting to our next ride. Congratulations, everyone! We got a new ride this week! River Rapids. That are glitched. I don't know why they're glitched. They're glitched. That I, It makes me so mad. So, what's wrong with them? Um, I think it might just be my game. But it won't allow me to build more carts than what the station can hold. So I had to build up a bigger station to hold more cars, and I know that's not how it works. I've seen other videos where you can have more cars than there are stations. It's just, ah, why? Why do you do this to me, game? Why? I also was trying to play around with the different sizes of the water here and trying to learn what each bit did, as well as adding rapids and... I kind of figured this would be a good time to, like, play around with the imagination and go with a... Well, what would a alpine or mountain river rapids ride be like? And I had this lovely valley down here, and I decided to actually use it to my advantage. And I also used the train right here to my advantage. Like, seriously, look at this. Watch this. I just dig down, dig down, dig down, dig down all the way. And we're just going to build, essentially, like a waterfall. It's a waterfall, essentially. This ride goes down a waterfall right in front of the train. And it's it's kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Like, look at that. That's so cool. Ah! I don't like the bridge. The bridge did not come out the way I like it. I might have to rework the train a little bit. I think I can actually... What I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of going back and... Uh, reworking that big fat, fat bit right there and maybe making it a bit smaller and then making it fat again. Sorry for sticking so long in the exit menu there. I meant to delete that. But it gave me a little, little time to actually talk about what I was planning on doing for that section. So you know what? We'll just leave it right there. And there we go for Rapids. Rapids going all the way down. Oh, you are going to get so wet in this ride. Actually, funny thing is, I've worked on an attraction that is a water ride. Uh, one of my jobs growing up, uh, not growing up, but one of my jobs after college was I worked for uh, <laughs> that park down the street. You know, I mentioned him in the last video. Uh, I won't say which one. I'll just say the park down the street. And I worked on one of their River Rapids rides. And um, <laughs> it was kind of interesting. I'm not going to lie. That's why I sent you guys to go watch them filling up the water rides at the beginning of the day. Because I've seen that myself. I've seen that in person, them doing that in the morning. I've been up at 6 a.m. going, oh, this is early. And watching them slowly fill in the water rides with just tons of water, seeing what's underneath, what's making the rapids go. And it's a really cool thing. It's it's really interesting. And that's why I say, if there's a video out there, go find it, go watch it. 
it blows your mind to consider that's what it, it takes to build these rides. Speaking of building these rides, I was having issues here. I wanted to have like a little bit of another like waterfall here, and uh, it, the game was not behaving. You know, sometimes games just do that. They just don't want to listen. They're like uh, b pretty bad children, you know? I think I just ended up just doing it my own way. Yeah, see? I just made my own little waterfall like rapids right there. There's so much of me just finagling this right going, listen to me, I want you to go this way. It just it doesn't like listening. So, you know, we we work with the way we work and we you know some days they'll finally work the way we want them to. Someday. <laughs> Till then I'm actually using utilizing the valley, which is already built into this part of the park. Uh, it's part of the default map. And I decided to make a nice little big curve here that goes into a cavern. Kind of allowing us to hide the point when we slowly are going to start crawling back up towards uh, the original starting point, as well as kind of giving us the ability to, if we wanted, uh, do some interesting things with the caves, allowing some interesting uh, underwater rapids, or not underwater, underground rapids and stuff through caves, and uh, some interesting lighting, as well as maybe doing some unique things with it. Things that you wouldn't be able to do with it if it was outside. Plus, it's not just going to be a simple, like, ramp going up. It's going to be multiple ones. So you kind of get to have this bit of enjoyment of going through the water. Going, not through the water, through uh, a, a bit of an area before sending your way up. On the downside, it does mean because I can't add more rafts. Um, it takes forever for the rafts to come back. Also downside, it means the water ride goes on forever. It goes on for a very long time. All my rides seem to do that. All my rides seem to take a very long time to go through and then come back. I don't know if that's like saying something about the rides I like, but my rides are usually very long. <laughs> oh, here's me lighting and figuring out lighting a bit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Chandelier. My, my, my. So, the Rapids Ride is actually one of my most interested and kind of entertaining attractions that I went through working with. It was not like the normal roller coaster or log flume that I had done before, or even the train. It was something where I got to build within the landscape that I already had and try to figure out what I could do with that. What could I do with what the park's given me? What can I do with the natural landscape here and kind of allow me to tweak and adjust and play with that a little bit. The only downside about this entire thing is um, usually with these you have like water voles and water spouts and all different types of things. But the game doesn't have that naturally. So you have to add them in yourself and I'm not sure if I haven't yet tried it. I don't know if the water effects actually get people wet. Because there's a special effect for water. And I don't know if that gets people wet. I don't know if it's just like uh, a, a place where they create it. Or if it actually will get your guests uh, a, a little wet. I actually don't even know. I just realized, thinking in my mind, I don't know if the guests get wet. That's not something I've seen. That's an interesting thought. That would be a cool thing to, to, to simulate. Because if guests got wet, that means that you could essentially simulate that they were... What's the word I'm looking for? Th th that they would leave like wet paths behind them. And you could set up a stall and sell like towels. I've seen that, actually. I've seen rides uh, like this where they have set up kiosks after the ride that sell towels. It's a little underhanded, a little sneaky, but it's something that's definitely there for the guests to try and appease them for having one of something and got, well, wet. For some reason, they didn't expect it. I don't know why. But I think it would be kind of fun to also have, like, a wetness meter for, like, the guests. Like, the guests are blank wet. Your guests now need to dry off, and they won't ride roller coasters and stuff afterwards. They'll kind of go do different things. Maybe ride the transportation ride to get to a new location, dry off a bit, um, 
maybe go eat. Maybe go do sit down. I think that would be kind of a neat little mechanic because that's something that actual theme parks have to deal with. So what you're seeing here right now, actually, is me building up the rest of the river. So I realized that up above, if you look down into the canyon, you'll see the water ride going through. But then it just stops and it goes into the tunnel. I had the idea that I was going to go ahead and create the rest of the river down as if this was a natural river and it kept going. And that simply the water ride was just where they had built up a little bit of a dam and it went that way. It was really cool. It looks really nice in my think, in my opinion. It looks my mind in my mind's eye and what I see here, I kind of like how it looks. A bit iffy on it. I still feel like it needs a little bit of work, but I think I like it. It works out pretty well. Oh my, and here's me trying to build that final in there. Trying to complete it. And uh, here's the hardest part. I was trying to add more cars and it wouldn't let me. Ah! Uh. Here's me testing the ride. Look at all those little rats. They're so adorable. Going down the ride, going through the things. Also gave me an idea for how long the ride was so I can figure out the spacing, how long we need between them. A nice little attempt here at making like a rocky shore. Kind of inform me like how close rocks can get without intersecting the right and not be allowed to be built. So it was kind of a nice little thing. At the same time, it was kind of like, oh, oh. you know, it could have been bigger. It could have been better. And also lit up a bit of the uh, up and down parts. Mostly it was the up parts. Anytime that you had to go up, I lit the bottom and the top so that... Um, you could see the chain lift. You could see, oh, I'm getting on a chain lift. Oh, I'm getting off. I'm getting on a chain lift. I'm getting off. What happens after that? It's a little bit more after a random chance. But hey, hey, you know. We'll, we'll, get, to th we'll get to actually theming this right out someday. We'll actually get to doing that someday. I don't know when, but it'll happen someday. <laughs> I feel like that's my chant. Someday we'll get there. Who knows when, but someday. All right, there's the train, which I actually showed somebody my uh, original, uh, my, my first episode, and their first comment was, of course, you would build a miniature railroad. And I'm just like, well, yeah, of course I would. You know, that, that's the main staple of many theme parks around the world is their transportation system that gets us around. Uh, the better the transportation system that gets us around, the more likely they are to, I don't know, Go on rides that are farther away, rides that are in the bark of the park. The, the more likely you are to have someone who will go far, far, far away in the back and do some weird stuff and then slowly work their way back. It's kind of a neat little thing to uh, play with guests on. Guest mentality, by the way. It's a very interesting and unique thing. What you're seeing here is actually I'm trying to build up a bit of a bridge that goes across for my, um, my queue line. So you're going to have a dueling path. Uh, this is actually inspired by a uh, park down the street. Uh, as, as my one of my co-workers would say, it's her uh, most magical place in the world. <laughs> it's actually based off of a bit of a scene of... Um, what's the name of the ride? I don't want to say Big Thunder. Big Thunder has something like this a bit, but it's in the station itself, like in the station building. What I'm thinking of more right here is a bit more like some other, another River Rapids ride somewhere in the world. I don't remember where that is. I will say the one downside about this game is the paths are a bit finagular at times, so it's a bit hard to get to what you want, right? But when you do, it looks really cool. Ah, and now the game is slowed back down, informing us that, in fact, we are at the end of the episode. Yes, guys, I'm sorry to inform you, this is going to be it. I'm going to be slowly watching as we try and finish out this path and try and getting it nice and... I don't want to say even, but nice and... Level. Yeah, you can see, like I said, the paths are very finagly, and it's kind of like a fight for who's going to win. Who's going to be on first? Who's going to be on second? What's going to be on third? No, wait, that's a, that's a, that's a sketch of Abbott and Stella. What, what am I doing? Anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy looking into my park. I hope you enjoy the fact that this is starting on a new day. Yeah! Thursdays when I'll be Let's Build Thursday. So every Thursday will be a video of me building something in a series. Uh, it's not going to just be Planet Coaster, but it may be other things. I'm not sure what yet, but I do plan to do other kind of uh, building series on this. It's not just going to be like a Let's Play. Um, I will say that right now. Let's Plays are still going to be on Fridays, with Let's Tries being on uh, Tuesdays. So don't worry, nothing's changing in that sh in that matter. It's just we're going to be giving you more content. There's going to be more videos. There's going to be more things to see. And that's because I've been producing so many of these Planet Coaster videos that it's kind of insane. It's just there for me to just post. So, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos, leave a comment or just like it. That also works. And if you don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm still cre creating these. Someday, maybe somebody will see it. Maybe you are. Maybe I will. I don't know. If anything, these are really nice for posterior. Uh, not posterior. That's a, the wrong word. That's a really wrong word to use here. No, it's really good for um, records. It, even now, seeing as how my park is the way it is now, and seeing how it was, it's kind of nice knowing where I've been and where I've come from. I've said that a few times in this episode, but hey. Alright. So I'm just going to fade it out now. Fadely, fadely, fadely. There's no George Carlin, so... Can't do that. Sorry, guys. But, I will say, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much. And I thank you all for those of you who have enjoyed this series. Uh, I hope to keep being entertaining to you all. Uh, no promises, but I, I, I do hope I can keep being entertaining. If anything, I hope I can try being entertaining. And, well, who knows what we'll get up to next time. We've got quite a bit of ways to go, guys. Quite a little bit of park to theme and quite a little bit of park to build. Got to get those numbers up. Got to get above that 400 range. Got to get up into like the thousands and ten thousands of people in our park. Ooh, boy, is that going to be entertaining when we get up there. <laughs> Till next time, guys. This is Wolf and Vic, signing out.